when we first came here. Kidnapped, forced across the water to this part of the world. We were brought from places all over Africa, all different cultures, and all the different cultures had drums and rhythms. And when we came here, we bought those rhythms, brought those rhythms with us. And we played those rhythms on our drums. And those drums communicated because in Africa, the drum was part of the communication system. And each rhythm had a meaning. For example, there was a rhythm that said, let's meet. everybody knew it's time for a meeting. Then there was a rhythm also, a rhythm to commemorate Mansa Musa, who was the head of the Ghanaian Empire. And he decided after he converted to Islam to go on his Hajj, his pilgrimage, all the way to Mecca. So he carried with him all of the gold that was Ghanaian. And of course, when they carried with him all the gold that was Ghanaian, well, uh, it wasn't important in Ghana. It was too soft to do anything with. It was only ornamental. But he carried with him gold and went all the way across the northern part of Africa, all the way to Arabia, giving away gold. They said he had 200 camels and 2,000 people. And as he went across, when they hit a sandstorm, they would play this rhythm so everybody would know they could follow, even if their eyes were closed, they could follow by following this rhythm. Well, what happened with uh, Mansa Musa? Uh, he was giving away so much gold when he got to what they now call Egypt. He gave away gold when he got over to Mecca for his pilgrimage. Uh, he was broke. But anyway, he did his pilgrimage, did his Hajj. When he was coming back, uh, he said, can I get a little of my gold back? And the people in what is now Egypt said, look, take it all because you ruined our economy. There's too much inflation with all this gold. So take it and come back and go. So he took it and that's how he got back. Now that rhythm was called the travel rhythm. Okay, they call it Lambam, but it's a travel rhythm. Not only that, in Africa, in other parts of Africa, they had a rhythm which called them together for a spiritual, a spiritual gathering. And that rhythm went like... And sometimes it's called Sangba and its various other rhythms. But that rhythm brought people together for religious ceremony. Not only that, there was a rhythm which brought people together to do the harvest. When it was time to do the harvest, they would come together with a harvest. And this harvest rhythm in certain parts of Africa is called Kakelambe. And Kakelambe went like this. rhythm brought people together for the purpose of gathering all of the crops when they harvested everything. Now, there was another rhythm, and this rhythm was called the warrior rhythm. And whenever there was something happening, they had to call the warriors and all the women.